folks and welcome to vlog 10, my first vlog of 2018, even though it's March already, um, I've been incredibly lazy. Um, but yeah, welcome, uh, I'm uh, looking to continue this series of vlogs into 2018 and uh, welcome along for the journey. So uh, today is about giving you a gift. Um, I want to talk about a tool that I've used a lot over the last couple of years with clients and it's been really, um, it's been really uh, useful for me and it's never failed uh, to be useful for the clients I'm using it for as well. It comes from a book that I really like uh, called Gamestorming. Um, it was recommended to me by my brother, Rob Walsh, um, and it's written by Graeme Brown and Macanufo. Macanufo, I think I put that right. Uh, Grey Brown and Macanufo, it's called Gamestorming. It's full of loads of great tips for facilitators and people who want to um, uh, lead meetings, lead organisational change. Uh, and do it with fun, do it with games. So um, I'm going to talk you through the tool and I'm also going to show you visually how the tool works. So I've got a, a few tricks up my sleeve for that. Um, the tool is basically to, to use a metaphor. So we use the metaphor of an aeroplane and to do this I need someone in the group to draw me, because I'm terrible at drawing, uh, to draw me a, a large aeroplane on the wall. And once we have the large aeroplane, I attach some questions to the aeroplane. So the first question is normally at the rear of the aeroplane, saying kind of, well, where are we now? Or what's the current situation that we're in? Um, uh, you know, what's the takeoff point for the session? Um, getting people to think about that and share their ideas about that is um, a really useful Thing to do, useful discussion to have, make sure we're all on the same page. Um, I like doing it with post-its so people don't have to kind of share it in discussion, it's just put it up there. Um, we can discuss it later, but in order to get people to really put their true thoughts on there, uh, no pressure, just write it on a post-it and stick it on the wall uh, and stick it on the aeroplane picture. Uh, the second question is always about where are we going, where are we headed for? So it's all about the destination, um, that could be a desired destination or it could be a, a told destination this is where we need to go as an organisation. It depends on kind of the level of seniority and the culture in the business that you're using it in. Um, but it's useful either way to get everyone to agree on where we're going. Uh, third question is who's on board? So we look through the portholes and see who's who are the passengers. Who's on board? Who needs to be on board with this? So who's affected by this? It really gets people to think about the people and therefore the communication and therefore the kind of meetings that need to be had around it. Um, really useful. Uh, to get them to really define that and to really understand all the stakeholders involved. Uh, finally, no not finally, fourth, we get them to think about the fuel. What's the resources that are needed in order to move us forward? Um, once they're really thinking about resources, they can really and not just get tied into money, but also think about other resources that they've got um, that could be used in to, to uh, make this successful journey, uh, this successful change. And we also get them to think about the cockpit. What navigational tools do we need? What do we need to? What measures do we need to know that we're steering in the right direction? Um, when we're halfway along the journey, how will we know that we're going to uh, hit our destination perfectly? So it's a simple kind of metaphor for you to use in any kind of team meeting or anything where you're leading change in an organisation. Get a group of people together, go through the metaphor of the aeroplane with the five questions, and I'm sure you'll have a good fun session. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.